guys, Crystal and Shadow here, back with Medium, and this time it's a still life. So I did predict it was about a painting, and then it just kind of went off the rails for a bit, and then it became a whole different story that I actually enjoyed. Yeah. I completely forgot this was an episode about paintings. <laughs> yeah. And then suddenly it's about a guy who fakes a death and then, you know, mixes up babies and then... Whatever, you know me, I enjoy the scenes where the DA and Scanlan confront people and all that stuff happens. We need more of that instead of episodes where we skip scenes. There's so many episodes where, like, the ending happens and we figure out what happened and we skip it. But we didn't here, we skip, we didn't. We found out what happened and then we confronted them and then we had all the interesting scenes. Yeah. But, you know, in a theoretical other episode, they could have ended it after Scanlan said, oh, yeah, he switched the babies, bye, fade out. <laughs> That would have happened in other episodes, and yeah. it does. I hate when that happens. I'm glad it didn't happen in this episode. I enjoy the scenes that take place afterwards. Those are the fun scenes. Yeah. You see, you're all the working it out. You want the payoff of seeing what happens. Yeah. I like seeing the, the younger one saying, Hey, Dad, I know what you did. Yeah. It's always, it's always interesting seeing that. I want to see more about that guy and how he copes with his life now that he knows that his whole life is a lie. He's not Jason whatever. He's... he's the, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Wait, so why did she kill the daughter? Why did he kill the daughter? Good question. We, we know he killed the mother to switch the babies and then killed, the babe, killed his own baby and made it look like it was that baby. Yeah, he how made... How did the daughter fit into all of this? What did that have to do with anything? Did I miss something? Maybe he thought the daughter would, I don't know, go looking for her mother or something? I don't know. I guess. That came out of, yeah, I completely forgot it. It, was, it all started because she died. And then we started thinking about what happened to the mother because we found the bodies. And then it was completely random. Yeah. Wait. Did, hang on, remember way back when they first went to the art gallery and the husband saw the tree? Mm. Does that mean, how did, why did he draw a tree? Why did he draw a tree of where the bodies were buried? That's true, it's not like the baby would He doesn't watched. have powers. He doesn't know where, the, he doesn't know the tree was there. How does he know, why did he draw a tree that happened to be connected? And we know the husband saw it. It's not like she saw it and she saw a tree. No, he saw it. So... Yeah, most of the paintings made sense because the baby, the healthy baby, who grows up is the one who painted all the paintings. Yeah, I know. But why did he draw a tree? Yeah, it's not like the father would have brought the healthy baby with him to watch him dig the grave. That's the only explanation if he was there. Maybe he did, but they didn't tell us that. And if they don't tell us that, it doesn't count. I mean, it's like, yeah, well, my maid's dead. I have no babysitter. <laughs> I'll just take the baby in the carrier, sit him he here while care. I dig a grave. Maybe he did, but the show didn't tell us that. Yeah. Oh, well, it was still an enjoyable episode. Not off, not as boring as some of the previous ones, but still an episode that basically goes nowhere. And again, they cram in another plot with the husband, and it goes nowhere. How if he... do you know? Fine. If it does go somewhere, that'd be interesting. But until it goes somewhere, I'm going to rule it out. Because 99% of the time, these plots have gone nowhere, except for the one time. The only thing I know is, A, the Texan guy came back, and B, I was spoiled, and one character comes back from season one. Mm -hmm. But other than that, we've seen no evidence that anything comes back. So far, the past few episodes have been meaningless. If I'm proved wrong... Then, look, retroactively, these episodes are slightly better. But until then, I'm going off the precedent that this has no indication whatsoever. This show doesn't set a pattern for things coming back. So I can't think, oh, this is a plot. You know, in a normal show, you'd think, oh, this is a plot. Well, but... his dad said his company is going to do well. But he chose not to pursue it. Yeah. So nothing's going to happen. He goes back to working his life he's already got. Yeah. So there you go. Unless... It's always interesting to have Joe's dad around. He's an interesting guy. Yeah, but he never provides a vital plot. Like, if he showed up and said something and it was foreshadowing of something that actually happened that was important for more than one episode, I'd find him to be an interesting character. You could do so much with this character, but no. The, most of the times, he just shows up, like the time when his mother was here. Mm. But those plots go nowhere. True. I'm just going to give it a 7.5. 
Yeah, same. 7.5. 7.5 because at least, hey, they at least did what I wanted and gave me the confrontation scenes that I enjoy seeing. So at least that's, that's about as good as we're going to get. Yeah. Oh, well, until then, uh, what's the next episode called? It is called, I keep forgetting, it is called The Reckoning. Oh, that could mean anything. Yeah. Oh, please tell me my favourite character from last season comes back. I know he's due to sometime in this season. Or is he? It could be season three. I saw the year, not the season. And seasons, because Americans are weird, do the first half in the... So it either takes place in the second half of season two or the first half of season three. Hmm. Okay. Now we have even longer to wait until my favourite episode from last season comes back. Until then, whenever that day comes, we'll see you next time for more Median and other things as well. See you next time, guys!